Okay, yesterday we have started the introduction of operating system. Let's continue with that. Uh, we are discussing what is the meaning of operation? What is the meaning of system, right? Okay, so let's start again. I'm revising what are the terms like operation means what? It is can be derived from the word operate. What is the meaning of operate? Control the functions of a machine, process, or a system. Now, what is a system? A set of things working together as a part of a mechanism or an interconnecting network as a complex whole, as a complex whole. So what do you understand by your operation? Or we can say about operate. What is the meaning of operate? Control the functions of a machine. <laughs> Basically, you are going to control each and everything of a machine, process, or a system. This is the meaning of a operate. And what is the meaning of a system? What we call a system, a system is a thing. A system is having a set of parts which works together to solve a particular problem. So what is written here? A set of things working together as a part of a mechanism or an interconnecting network, a complex whole. So this is, these are the terminology we are using in the operating system. We are getting familiar with these things. Now let's start the actual thing we will discuss. Uh, now, what are the components of a computer system? As we know about hardware, we know about software. And what are the type of software? There are two types of software, system <coughs> software and application software. That is system programs and application programs. What are the system programs? System programs are like operating system. System programs are those programs which provide the environment to run the application programs. And what are the application programs? Just like this PowerPoint presentation. This is an example of an application program like your database, Zoom application, or each and everything which are designed to do a particular task to for solving a problem of a human being is termed as an application program and which those programs which provide the environment are the system programs. Operating system is one of the example of a system program. So other examples are drivers and other things. So what are the components? Firstly, who is going to interact with the computer system? First one is the users only. So here are the computer users. What you, in this particular example, we can see that there are n number of users and there is a bi-directional arrow. That means user can input to the computer system and get the output from the computer system also. Now, what are the other things in a system and application programs like compiler, assembler, text editors, database system, you, any other multimedia system. These are example of system and application programs. Now, which uh, system program is going to provide the environment to run these programs? Uh, this is the operating system. This is the next layer that is operating system. And in the end, who is going to do actual work of a computer system? It is the hardware only. Hardware do the job of each and every question provided by the user and operating system work as a mediator in the com between the computer user and the computer hardware. So operating system is in like a sandwich between user and the computer hardware. Uh, I informed you earlier also, please do not uh, enter into the classroom like using iPhone written as an ID and like one, two, three, something like that. I'm removing all those students. If they contact you while they are removed from the class, please tell them that use their original names only. So what we can see in this particular slide that we are familiar with the component of a computer system. What are the four basic components? First one, that is user. Second one is system and application programs, then operating system, computer hardware. Now let's discuss operating system. What is an operating system? What are the definitions of this operating system? First one is operating system is a resource allocator. Why we say it as a resource allocator? Because all the memory management thing, process management thing, input output management, security, auditing, these all things are 
done by the operating system as these are the backbone of an computer system provide the environment to run the application software. So what is written here, operating system is a resource allocator, manage all resources and decides between conflicting requests for efficient and fair resource use. Uh, students, if you do not understand anything, you can ping in the chat box. I will stop at that moment and will explain your doubt. So you can write in the chat box any query if you have in till now or whenever it arises in your mind, you can just write in the chat box. I will resolve your query as and when I get the time. So operating system is a resource allocator, manages all resources, decides between conflicting requests for efficient and fair resource. Okay, so what is an operating system definition? Operating system is a resource allocator. Manage all resources, decides between conflicting requests for efficient and fair resource use. Now screen visible to all students due to disconnection in internet. I was kicked out of the Zoom meeting room. Okay, so operating system is a resource allocator, manage all resources, decides between conflicting requests for efficient and fair resource use. Operating system is a control program. Why it is called a control program? Because it controls execution of programs to prevent errors and improper use of computer. What is the meaning of improper use of computer? Uh, is this improper use of computer done by the human only? computer users only, or it can be done by any other devices. Can anyone have any idea what is the meaning of improper use of computer? Uh, Akash, are you there? Please unmute yourself and present your views on improper use of the computer. What is the meaning of improper use of computer? Are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, can you put your views on this improper use of computer? Who is using improperly computer system, computer user or any other devices which are connected with the computer system, like printer, scanner, any other thing? Sir, obviously users. Uh, obviously only users. Uh, printer cannot do any improper thing with the computer system or any other device? No, sir, I don't think so. Okay, any other student? Any other students? Any other students? Sir, if it, if it is not if it is not controlled, then um, other devices may use the system inappropriately. Okay. Uh, Operating system regulates that. Uh, suppose a printer is connected. Can it uh, use a improperly computer system? Am I audible to all you guys? Students, am I audible? Okay. So yes, any, other student? any other student? Asutosh, can you present your views on the improper use of computer system? Asutosh, are you there? Asutosh. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, can you present your views on the improper use of computer system? Who is going to use improperly computer system? Computer users only or any other device connected through your uh -huh. computer system? I think multiple command, I think multiple command run at a time, though the uh, OS can stuck and it prevents uh, one by one. Okay. Uh, suppose, uh, is it possible that uh, any application program can do any harm to your computer system? 
any application program can do any harm to your computer yes. system yes and what sort of yes. harm if can it, be done by yes if it is connect, uh, connect yes uh, please please speak if it is connected to the internet okay then what will happen then have you have heard about viruses then many cyber crimes or and many so, hacking and viruses can interrupt to your application and absolutely interrupt your uh, applications so, and uh, back end uh, hardware absolutely like other application programs without the internet yes uh the thing is without is, internet connection also if suppose internet yes. is not connected and you are having some pen drive or a external device if you connected that pen drive with your computer system and what will happen suppose there is a virus in your pen drive and when you open it in your laptop or your desktop then virus will enter in your computer system right so it is not the only possibility that you are connected with the internet then only virus will sweep into your computer system so be aware that your pen drive must be your virus free only then your computer system can be safe okay so the thing is what is the meaning of improper use of computer like computer use can be it can be think of an application like how you are using your computer system suppose a person can have taken control of your computer system any computer user another computer user like a hacker it, it can personate like you are doing those things but the things are done by someone else and just like your viruses they can corrupt your application programs suppose 1 uh, gb is provided to one application but when a virus corrupted that application program it can demand up to 10 gb of memory space but operating system is smart even enough to identify these kinds of things so this is a thing that operating system is a control program control execution of programs prevent errors and improper use of computer system have you heard about firewall have you heard about firewall akshay is saying yes, breach of I data can yes, be done. absolutely right breach of data can be done so what is the working of firewall what is the working of firewall uh, because it is a gateway by which uh, it is a gateway by which uh, our connection means ip passed and uh, if it is a untrusted ip then it will be blocked automatically from that side uh, by the proxy all right it is just can simply we think of a gatekeeper right he is just sitting at the gate and just examining who is entering in your house right and if you have blacklisted some of the guests yes yes if you have blacklisted some of the guests that they cannot enter in your house then gatekeeper will prevent those guests to enter in your house right this is the simple working of a firewall he, he the firewall is just the gatekeeper right but you know some guests are smart enough to climb the wall yes. and enter your house right <laughs> okay let's move so operating system is a resource But allocator <laughs> manage all resources decides between conflicting request for efficient and fair resource use Oh, okay. Now the screen is visible. Yeah, completely. Yes, okay. Let's move. So, the one program that runs all the time in your computer system. whenever you turn on your computer system this is the soul of your operating system what is the soul of your operating system this is the kernel it named as kernel this is the crux of your operating system it runs all the time whenever you open your computer system everything else is either a system program or an application program uh, uh, can you think about it as an infinite program is kernel the, as you can see that kernel is a program which is running all the time in your computer system so is it a infinite program 
Colonel works as an infinite program. In uh, I guess in uh, last year in C programming, you have some done some programs in due to error, you have uh, get into an infinite loop, right? Suppose you are printing one to 100 numbers, right? And you are doing some mistakes. Now numbers are printed infinitely, right? And whenever you have to close your program, you just click the whole application shut down, right? So this kernel is works as an infinite program. Whenever you run the program, it runs in background and provide the environment to run the application programs. But when you switch off it, it just shut it down. Uh, have you think, uh, 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 okay, tell me one thing, which is the first program that runs whenever you switch on your computer system? Who can tell me which is the first program which runs whenever you open your computer system? BIOS. Uh, BIOS. What is the full form of BIOS? BIOS. Uh, write in the chat box. Please write in the chat box. What is the full Basic form of BIOS? Basic input output system. Basic input output system. Absolutely right. And how BIOS is loaded? Which? It is loaded in ROM. It is uh, loaded in ROM or it is already in ROM? ROM is read only memory, right? Okay, before moving, forward, just tell me how many type of ROM are there? How many type of ROM are there? Type of ROM. Three. Right in the chat box. Type of ROM. Type of read only memory. Six. Six, please write in the chat box in short form. Come on, do it first. Do it first. Type of ROM. Come on. Okay, Abhishek Kumar Dubey is saying there are four type of P ROM, then Aksha, Akash Pal is saying P ROM, then then uh, P ROM, E P ROM, double E P ROM. Okay, okay. What is the full form of P ROM? P ROM is programmable read only memory, right? As we can see that ROM is read only memory. It is non volatile. That is once you have written the instruction on a ROM, it cannot be erasable. Then sub there to provide the uh, flexibility, there is comes a programmable read only memory means as per your need, you can program your read only memory as per users requirement. Now again, as you know, we humans have the characteristics of doing errors. We take liberty in doing errors, right? So it is possibility that after programming your read only memory, there is, must be, a, a, there may be an error or you want to change anything in your pro coded program. So th to change this, we have EPROM. What is the full form of EPROM? Tell me. Erasable programmable read only memory. Right, erasable programmable read only memory, good. And what is double EP ROM? It is electrically erasable programmable read only memory. Means you can, as electricity is the cheapest medium to erase the content on the ROM, we are going to in the double EP ROM. So if you are using the electricity in double EP ROM, then what is the medium to erase the content in EP ROM? How we are erasing the content in EP ROM? UV. Absolutely right. Ultraviolet rays we are using in EP room, but it is very costly. So we come up with innovative idea of using the electricity to erase the content of room. So these are room, P room, EP room, double EP room, flash room. It is uh, another beast. We cannot uh, see it as a room. Okay. So main things are room, P room, EP room, and double EP room. Just these four are four type of ROM are considered as the ROM. So this kernel is uh, the whenever you switch on your computer system, there is a boot strap loader. What is the boot strap loader? Boot strap loader go into the ROM and pick the kernel to run the operating system. Okay, so. Let's move. Here are the operating system services. These are the backbone of a computer system, which provide the environment to 
to the computer user to run any application program on the computer system and get the things done by the hardware. So what is the structure of this operating system and computer system? Firstly, on the top of this diagram, we are having user and other system programs that interact through the user interface. What is GUI? There are three types of user interface. GUI is graphical user interface. Then there is a batch interface. You must have uh, know about batch interface. Like in batch, we have a sort of a hardware kind of thing, like punch machine punches are there, batches we put in the old type of computer system, we put the information through the batches only. And there is another command line that is CUI, character user interface, we call it command line interface also. We call it as command line interface also. So there are three types of user interfaces, graphical user interface, batch interface, command line or character user interface. I don't need to write anything. I, I have uploaded this uh, slide in your uh, Google Classroom. You can download this uh, study, lecture note from the Google Classroom itself. Uh, anything which I am telling you apart from the uh, things written in this slide, th those things you can write in your notebook. Okay. So what is system call? System call is what? This is the medium through user which wants to get the things done through the hardware. System call is the thing which tells the operating system that these things are needed to done by the hardware. So this, this system call is very beneficial to bridge the gap between the computer user and the operating system. Uh, uh, system call, then there are services like program execution, input output operations, file system, communication, resource allocation, accounting, error detection, protection, and security. What is program execution? It provides the whole environment to run any program, like it provides the memory, it provides the all resources like process <coughs> allocation and other. Uh, input output operations are controlled by the operating system. Uh, suppose if you want to print some things through the printer, you want to provide input through the scanner, these kinds of things managed by the operating system only. Then the, there is a service of file system, means how you are going to store your files and other things in the computer hardware. This file system will decide the way of storing the data in the computer hardware. Uh, whenever uh, you click any file on the right click and go to in its property, you have seen the file system as NTFS. NTFS, have you seen NTFS? Yes, that is network file system. Network file system. This is an architecture, how to store files in your computer hardware. This is the latest one using in the Windows operating system that is NTFS. Now, what communication means? What communication? Internal communication between application programs through through the hardware. hardware. They are communicating through com system calls. This is managed by the operating system only. Now there is a service of resource allocation. Means resources are what? Resources are your memory, your processes, and these kinds are the resources are managed by the operating system only. Accounting means, suppose you have allotted uh, one GB of space to one process. Now, if you wants to get more than one GB space, then that will be accounted by the operating system only. Error detection, whenever any uh, unexpected error occurs, it, it audited by the operating system. Protection and security is also in service of an operating system. Then these are the services of an operating system through which hardware interact. Hardware is the basic thing which do your work and how to get the things done with the hardware. It is done by the operating system and instructions are given by the application programs. And here are some exercises for you for today's class. Means what is an operating system? Describe the operating system functions. List the objective of an operating system. List various services provided by the operating system. Uh, you can use Galvin, Galvin's book. You uh, just uh, write on the Google Galvin operating system. You can get the PDF of the, that book. And each and everything of your syllabus you can get from that this Galvin book. 
and I I am telling me only the forty percent. Rest sixty percent you have to read from the books only, and all other things you need to understand. So I am revising once again uh, what we have studied till now for today's class. Firstly, we have gone through into the terminology like what is operation, like operate, control the function of a machine, process or a system. What is a system? A set of things working together as a part of mechanism or an interconnecting network, or an interconnecting network as a part of mechanism. as a complex whole then we see the components of a computer system what are the components of a computer system there are users system and application programs operating system computer hardware then uh, operating system definition we have seen that operating system is a resource allocator why it is a resource allocator because it manages all resources decides between conflicting request for efficient and fair resource use Operating system is a control program, control execution of programs to prevent errors and improper use of computer. With the one program which runs all the time, whenever you switch on your computer system, uh, whenever you switch on your computer system, this is called kernel. We will understand. We will see how kernel works. What what are its internal architecture in next class. In uh, other class, we will study how operating system are structured. different type of kernels we used like there is a micro kernel thing is also there we will study all those things in our next class everything else is either a system program shifts with the operating system or an application program and then uh, we have studies operating system services user and other system programs interact through the user interface interact through the user interface there are three type of user interface graphical user interface batch user interface and cui that is command line command line interface cli command line interface then uh, system calls are the mediator which provide the bridge between the user application program to the hardware operating system provide the services like program execution input output operation file system communication resource allocation accounting error detection production and security if these all services are managed by the operating system uh, can anyone tell me what is the difference between functionality and the services difference between functionality and service can you tell me what is the difference between functionality and service so does the work and services means what what the works it will done to uh, please repeat i am not able to listen please repeat what you have said so functionality please write in the chat First, box functionality so. means how it is doing the work please write in the chat box i am not able to get you anyone else please write in the chat box what is the difference between functionality and a service please write your answer in the chat box what is the difference between functionality and a service and do services provide functionality or to provide the functionality we use services please write in the chat box what do you think that must be the difference between functionality and a service uh, anand tiwari is saying functionality means how it do the work and service means what all it do akshay is saying to use service we need function asutosh is saying functionality what is a process and procedure and what about service nilesh kumar is saying to provide service we use functions okay i am not asking about function i am asking about functionality you have to tell the difference between functionality and service like what are the functionality of a operating system services like which we present uh, fun what are the functionality of an operating system uh, let's cut it short 
firstly tell me you have seen the services right you have seen in today's class what are the services you have seen the services like program execution input output operation file system communication resource allocation and accounting error detection production and security things right these are the services and what are the functionality of an operating system what are the functionality of an operating system the quality how a service provided is functionality no it is not like that the quality how a service is provided is multiple task performing no rajiv firoz is saying capability of operating system is functionality what do you mean by capability like capability is providing these services okay first answer this what are the functionality of an operating system just write in the chat box then we will differentiate between functionality and the service akshay is saying it is a sum of how we judge a service what do you mean by judge a service are you judging its quality or are you are you judging its quantity firstly answer what are the fe- uh, functionality of an operating system it is a sum of how we judge a service features and this is entirely different thing akshay functionality is something different i am rephrasing my question i am rephrasing my question okay asutosh is saying memory management process management device management these are the functionality absolutely right khalid hussain is saying the complete process of providing a service is functionality no this is not like that providing a service is functionality what do you mean by complete process asutosh singh is correctly saying like memory management process management input output devices management these are the functionality of an operating system and how you are managing the memory how you are managing the memory you are using resource allocation you are using accounting you are using program execution means to achieve the functionality we use the services means to achieve one functionality we may have more than one services to cater our need understand asutosh is has written again service or program execution right 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 so understand what is the difference between functionality and service to achieve functionalities we need services understand like memory management process management these are the functionalities of an operating system and how to achieve those functionality we need services understand functionality is broader aspect and services are specific to do only one thing like file system it is only dedicated to file system only right but this file system is a part of a memory management understand so memory management need the services of file system memory management needs the f- services of input output operations memory management needs the service of program execution Me- memory management functionality needs the service of resource allocation also and memory management also need the service of accounting also so here you got the difference between functionality and service to achieve the functionality we need services understand and to achieve one functionality we may need more than one services of an operating system so today we are finishing on this these are some exercises please read the books because without reading the book you cannot get the insight of an operating system what i am telling you it will be sufficient for you and if when you are study these kinds of things just read the topics in the book not the whole chapter because you in your professional course we studies like through the topic only when one topic is discussed in the classroom just go for that particular topic only in the book and leave other things when we go on the next class on other topics then go for other topics in the book but read reading is must without reading you cannot understand things like understand okay so these are these are the references i am using this first one for most of the things galvin and gagan operating system concept you can find it on the internet okay so we are closing today's class we will discuss other things in in our next class okay so today we have study just a introduction of an operating system next we will study what are the type of operating system we have so please read in the class and thank you very much you are here at 9 am
please go and have some breakfast if you're not done already okay thank you class see you next time